Hey guys, happy Thursday. So kids are home today because of the weather. We got, I don't even know, maybe a couple inches of snow and it is just really, really cold. So I think it was like negative five or something, but it feels like negative 28. So it's chilly and um, I of course left my stuff that I was going to sell today outside in the barn so I had to run out there and make a couple of trips um, to bring everything in um, but that way it wasn't just sitting in the house so that made um, hubby happy so uh, we'll go ahead and get started um, we I will have another sale on Sunday at 7 p.m. and that's just like my normal <clears throat> time slot that I always do and then next week I will not have one for lunchtime on Thursday. It'll probably happen on Tuesday, but I will announce that on Sunday um, during the live when I have completely narrowed down my schedule for next week. But I know it won't be next Thursday, even though I've been trying to be consistent and pick, pick Thursdays. So another thing to just make a note of is that my phone is flipping and so that is super exciting that that little Facebook glitch has fixed however I have tons of friends who have lost the ability to go live so if for some reason I don't show up live on Sunday then that probably means that my ability to go live has um, disappeared and I will just put a post on there if that happens to happen but <clears throat> it's been just really weird Facebook glitches things like that happen you have no control over it so it is what it is so we've got two um, music Valentine's and these are eight dollars so eight dollars on the music Valentine's if you haven't done a sale with me before and this one's um, got made in the USA on it. What you will do is you just comment sold and then the item. So if you want those music valentines, you'd say music valentines. And then um, after that, if you haven't purchased from me before, then you're going to send me your email address and zip code. And I will get you invoiced. Um, here this afternoon when we get off, what I always do is I go and I put um, the things that didn't sell live into stories. So you can watch those on stories and Instagram or Facebook. And then I work on getting everybody invoiced. And since the kids are home, I'm probably going to be making them lunch. I just told them that they were gonna have to wait, <clears throat> wait a little bit. So you're getting these three Valentines and they are $12. So $12 on the Valentine's, $8 on the Music Valentine's. Hi Pat, hi Karen, thanks for watching. So a few of you liked the book bundle that I did um, la or on Sunday, I think it was. This one is Air Service Boys Over the Atlantic. We've got Child Story Series, and again, I picked these just for um, the color of the cover. And then Brownies and Other Stories. So I'm looking at it more as the color of the binder, um, and you guys know how much I love blues and greens. Um, this one, it kind of looks brown, um, and I think it's just more the spine of it. The rest of it is green. So these would make a good stack to get some height variation in your display and get you some color either for spring or Christmas or year round. And the book bundle is $15. So $15 on the book bundle. <clears throat> then we're going on to a piece of architectural salvage. This is an old piece of wood, but I did do a white dry brush on it. So the paint is new, it's not old paint. Try and get it where the lighting kind of changes here. Um, and if you ever don't wanna see comments, if you just take your finger and swipe across, then you don't have to see comments and you can see the whole, whole screen if you're watching from your phone. So old piece of wood, but new paint on it. I have no idea what it would have um, attached to, but you could 
set it on a shelf. You could hang it on the wall. Um, you have a lot of options on this piece and, and how you put it as well. So $10 on this white piece of architectural salvage and it's going to be about 19 inches long at the longest spot. So white piece of architectural salvage. Now this piece of architectural salvage, I want to say it's off of an organ and I don't remember why I think that, but I do. Um, I've had a few pieces like this and some of them I have taken this section and cut it down to make um, candle holders. So you could do that too, or you could leave it like this. It will um, stand up here by itself. I've also displayed it just where I tip it over and I will you know, have it displayed like that for some architectural salvage. You could hang this on the wall. You could even probably, if you have an overhang on your counter, like um, a bar area, you could probably even make it so it's some kind of, uh, maybe it's not structurally holding anything, but it can look like it's holding something um, and make some kind of bracket or corbel out of it as well. So a couple options for this piece. And this piece is $25. So $25 on, we'll call it the organ piece of architectural salvage. <clears throat> okay, then I had three of these signs. I'm down to this one. Um, it is on metal. And then this is like um, a three-dimensional textured. It's like the reflective stuff that would be on a sign. Um, so you've got office and phone numbers here. And I just think that it is a neat piece to hang on the wall, put on your photo or on your uh, gallery wall. And as long as you've got some red and white in that room, it's going to fit in there. So even a bathroom, you could do it anywhere. So $30 on <clears throat> this metal sign. And its total length is about 23 and three quarters. All right, Susan, which piece of wood are you wanting? So we need to make sure that we're specific. You want the white one or the organ one? Kim's maybe on the organ one, so I'm guessing you commented on the white one. Or you want the, Kim wants the organ piece. You mean sold. Metal sign is going to Robin. Okay, then we have this, um, wood shelf. I would say it's a shelf or you could probably call it a mantle. It's flat on the back side. And then you can see that it's got the um, routered edge on the other three sides, okay? So you could put, um, of course I can't have it back far enough for you guys, but you could have it like this and then put a corbel, two corbels underneath it. Or you could even, it's probably small enough, like those corbels, I think I had them um, on my Sunday sale maybe, I have two corbels left. You could even just do a single one um, underneath it and attach those and then you could use this for a shelf as well. Um, I also sometimes when you get a piece of furniture, the top on it always seems to be what has the most damage. And so if this was the right size, you could just set this on there, you could nail it on there, glue it on there, and now you have a new top for whatever your um, pieces that needed a top. So you could use it as a shelf or a mantle or a top. So on this piece, it is marked down to $10. So $10 on our shelf board. Then we have another one for $10. <clears throat> This one, again, I'm pretty sure I bought it because I wanted to use it like for the top of a shelf that I had. This one is also where it's flat on the back. It's painted black, so if you want the black um, shelf board, make sure you say black. It has a different um, finished edge on it on three sides, so it's not as um, decorative as the other one. Here's kind of the profile. So you can see that. So it um, is probably a newer piece of wood just because it looks newer on that side. This one is, and I can't even remember if I measured the other one. The black one is 24 and a quarter. 
and the wood one is more like 23 and three quarters. So the black one is a little bit longer. Okay, Robin, you want that first mantle piece? So the uh, black mantle piece is still available. Okay, then we have a Scrabble board. I have a couple of, well, actually I have two more of these that I know where they are. So if more than one of you are interested in a Scrabble board, it's $5. You can take your Scrabble pieces and actually glue them on there to say your family's names, you know, whatever you want. Um, or you could just hang it on the wall like this. So in our game room for the kids, craft area game room, I just have taken um, thumbtacks, clear thumbtacks, and used those to punch through um, in the crack where it's thinner and then just right into the drywall. That way it's easy for me to change them in and out. I can put them at different angles. Um, and I just like to hang with thumbtacks for some reason. $5 on the Scrabble. Okay, next up we have this uh, wood chunk and it would have been the bottom or maybe top of a piece of corbel or corbel, a uh, column and it is just um, gotten separated from it. So what I like to use it for because it has the awesome white chippy paint is I will just set it and use it like a riser and then put a cloche on top of it and have this be the cloche base. Um, I'm sure there's a ton of other things that you could do with it, but that's just how I have used it. So $20 on the column base. Okay, next up we have a pig cutting board. Um, this one has a really nice patina because it's darker. I, I like the darker wood. Um, this I think is just adhesive that I have never even tried to get off. There is some old worm holes here um, on the pig. So if you don't like that, you could flip it around. Um, but these, you can put them on the wall and use it like a piece of art. You could prop it up on the back of your uh, counter, um, you know, put it into a tote, anything that um, you can think of. And you could really use thumbtacks on this too if you wanted to um, tack on a recipe or an old family photo of grandma in the kitchen or whatever. And you can also write on these. So if you wanna put like somebody's last name or home, something like that, you can do that as well. So $25 on the pig cutting board. <clears throat> yeah, Connie, send me a message and I will um, show you. Okay, um, Lori's taking second on the shelf. The How heavy is the column base? Um, I don't know, just off the top of my head. Um, I can weigh it for you, Susan, if you want me to. Brooke, if no one else wants the books, yeah, I'll separate them. Hi, a piece from the past. Okay, next up we have a voter bag. Um, you can probably read it easier than I can. Complete supplies. It has handwritten in here, Steph Stephenville and something, Salem Township, Lewis County, Missouri. It's August 8th, 1978. So um, it's my age. I was born in 78. So you could use this and re, um, cover something so you could put it on a chair. You could uh, use it as a pillowcase and put a pillow in it. You could use it as a curtain or a valance or one girl I know, she's going to take a bunch of old bags like this or feed sacks and she is going to stitch them all together um, so like the raveling part is out and use it as a shower curtain so I think that's a super cute idea as well and again those thumbtacks just put them in the wall and you've got it good to go $15 on the voter bag and it is a lot bigger than a normal uh, feed sack so this is about 22 and a half this is an approximation, but 22 and a half by about 38 um, on the voter bag. $15 on the voter bag. 
Okay, then we've got a pair of, okay, it goes like this. Then we've got a pair of sugars, I guess, because neither one of them have a spout. Um, this one doesn't have arms, I'm gonna call them arms, um, or handles. And this one does have handles, but doesn't have a lid. Um, I think that they look cute just paired up like this, but you could always take the lid off and use them to hold your Q-tips, your flossing sticks. You could put little succulents in them, but I love the brass color, the gold color on them. So the pair for $30, so pair of brass sugars. Okay, on my website, I listed a ton of wooden bowls. Um, and so this is one that I have not listed on the website yet. Um, it is not marked. It is in really good condition. It's $45 and it's about 13 and a quarter inches in diameter. And this way it's about 12 and three quarters. So it's about 13. I never realized until I was measuring all the wood bowls for the website that they are not um, perfectly round. So I guess because they're hand done, they don't, they don't turn out perfectly round. $45 on the wooden bowl. Okay, next up we have this leather pouch. It looks great from this side. And then you come to this side and we have um, a tear in it right here. So somebody has tried to open it a little bit too much. Um, but you could always just hang it or display it on the side where it's a little bit better. There is a leather piece here on the um, strings as well, and it is $20. So $20 on the leather pouch. All right, Kim wants the voter bag and Robin is second. Robin, if you remind me, I do have some more. They're not gonna be identical. They say different things, but they're, they're pretty much, I mean, they're voter bags. Eight inches on the leather pouch, $20 on that. And I'll send you a picture. <clears throat> All right, we've got another silver pitcher. I really like the ones that are like a pitcher and not a water pitcher and not like a teapot because I like the open. You can use them as a vase. You can use them to hold your wooden spoons. Um, I like how wide they are, so it gives you lots of options. This one's got a great shape on its handle. Um, it does have a marking, although I have no idea what it says. Um, it's kind of a bunch of squares there on the bottom but $20 on this silver pitcher, and I had a bunch of uh, sparkly greenery in it because that's what popped out. <clears throat> Just to the top of the like actual pitcher part is six and three quarters. So the handle and the spout go up taller than that, but $20, $20 on the silver pitcher. Okay, then next up we've got this um, big pitcher um probably would have had a basin with it it's got some great uh, floral pattern on it and it says parisian granite rosaline pattern alfred meekin england so 75 dollars on this picture <clears throat> and we'll go to the tallest spot is going to be about 12 and three quarters inches tall on this picture and this one does have detailing around the inside as well okay next up we have is it a phonograph this would have been probably in the inside of a victrola and this one is a little bit different because it's like a fiberglass um, texture where I have some of the, I have another one and it's metal and all the other ones I've had before are metal. Um, but some neat things that I've seen done with this, which is one of the reasons I got it for my, <laughs> myself, but one of those projects that never happened, is you take it and you can mount this part onto a wall and or onto something and then attach it to the wall and then have it like this and it's like a light 
Um, you can put in those like remote control lights where you could, um, little, what do you call it, puck lights, and you can turn it on. You could even hardwire it if you were skilled like that. Um, but I just love that idea. You can also just stand it up in a display, um, put it in something heavy so you can do that, or you can um, make a base for it, attach it to something as well. So $50 on the phonograph. Okay, then we have these um, placemats. There's six of them. Definitely has the bohemian vibe to it. Um, put this and then I am all about layering. So if I was really going to make a table setting, I would do probably cutting boards on top of this, some white plates, and then put something on top of the white plates. Um, I really like that um, look of multiple, multiple things. You could also, if you have open shelving or even a cabinet, just take one of these and set it on the shelf and then have it be hanging over so you can see it and then set your stuff up here. And then you could also, again, I'm into the thumbtacks, I guess, today. You can just thumbtack them to your wall um, and you can make a pattern out of them or you could put them behind pictures on your gallery wall. I probably wouldn't use all six. I would probably just use a few of them, um, but that is an option. And just, these are really soft and flexible. So you could even just put them in a picture or in a crock or in something as well. I have these all attached, but uh, you could do that just for some texture as well. Have it snaking over and uh, add some greenery and stuff. So you get the idea. You can um, do all sorts of things. Kind of just think of them as a piece of fabric. So $30 on the six uh, placemats. Then this picture has great shape. It's just an aluminum one. It's got a glass lid on it. Um, it would have, what, per percolated? Now I'm not gonna be able to probably get it lined up there. But I just love the shape of it. So you could keep it like this and put it into a display or you could take the, this section out and use it for your wooden spoons, a plant, um, flowers, anything like that. So $25 on our um, coffee pot, aluminum coffee pot. It's gonna be about 10 inches tall. Okay, then we've got a handheld mirror. You can see my setup there. Um, this one has a gold brass uh, background to it with this rose. You can see it's three dimensional. This mirror is in great shape. I have others that have seen better days. And even though this one doesn't have a hole on it, you can still totally hang it on the wall. I would just take some fishing line if you don't want to be able to see it and you tie it knot around it and then you can tie a knot on the nail. Or you could do that with twine or ribbon, depending on what your look is. Um, and then also you can just like set them in a vase along with some other things. We'll just use that silver one again um, and do some kind of something heavier a little bit in the bottom and fill it in so that you can have the mirror angled however you want it to be. So $25 on this um, hand mirror. Next up, we have this red cast iron shoe form. It is one that's a little bit different style because it's more just the toe part. Um, but again, you can hang this on the wall, set it on the shelf, use it as a paperweight. It's $5, so $5 on this little shoe form. Then we have a railroad lock and key and it's an ad lake um, lock and the key does match the key says b in ink that's the kind of that's the railroad company and it does have a chain with it but this would be something definitely a collector would be interested in sixty dollars on the railroad lock and key 
All right, Jennifer was first on the red shoe. Christine, your second. Shelly, your third. Okay, I got another hook. Um, all the hooks I have all have a little bit different style, but kind of the same thing. You could just hang it on a nail on the wall, put your dishcloth on it, hang a picture from it, a mirror from it, um, some something else that you want to display and just kind of link it from it. So these ha have a lot of options. You could even put a toilet paper roll on it. $10 on the hook. <clears throat> And it's about 12 and a half inches long on this one. And it is all one piece of metal. Okay, next up we have this uh, black metal lunchbox with an aluminum handle. It does not have the thermos in it. Um, this is so something that would be really cute. Put some jars in it with some succulents, set it in your windowsill. Um, set it on a shelf as is. You could also magnet something to it if you wanted to do a recipe or something, or even tie it with some twine, some little, you know, things that you collect at the mirror or something. And this black lunchbox is $15. Okay, then we have an aluminum funnel probably not aluminum galvanized funnel these you can turn upside down you can have your bracelets go in it you could turn it upside down and stick like American flags out of it some feathers or flowers out of it as well and it is magnet magnetic so you can also put something on it um, that way and then really popular is drilling a few drilling three holes in it attaching a chain and then using it as a planter on your porch. So that's an option. And you, if you don't want to do the chain, you could literally just screw this into a board and attach it to the wall and, and put plants in it that way. So $15 on our galvanized funnel. It's probably about nine inches tall. Okay, if you've ever watched American Pickers, you know that people actually collect mouse traps. So this one is a can't miss four-way rat trap. I don't see how it's four ways, but I'm not schooled in catching mice this way. I use poison or sticky, sticky, sticky traps. Uh, $10 on the big um, mouse trap. And then this McGill Better Mouse Traps, the smaller one, it is $3. So $3 on the smaller one. All right, Susan wants the hook. <clears throat> then next up we have this Clabber Girl baking powder tin. Um, for those of you who like to decorate above your kitchen cabinets, this would be a great option or have the open shelving. It is ginormous, and someone has turned it into a piggy bank at some point, but you can't even see that if you have it setting on a shelf. It's going to be almost nine inches tall, so it is definitely very large, and it is $25, so $25 on the baking powder tin. Okay, the not a normal thing that you would see from me, but we have a little uh, like a Barbie case by uh, Star, Star and Friends, Maytel. It's empty. You could uh, use it for storing the kids uh, toys. You could put uh, colored pencils and crayons in it or just set it on a shelf if this is something you collect. It is $10. And it's about 12 by 10, 12 by 10 on that box. All right, Ronell showing up first for the 10. Angela, you are second. Okay, then mirrors were popular the other day, so I grabbed another one. This one is rectangular and has the gold edging around it. At one point, it would have had, um, this looks like a, easel stand for it. It does have the feet on it to protect 
your surface and you could always hang it from the wall still. You could add some fishing line if you wanted, um, hang it with a command strip, but $15 on this uh, tabletop mirror. It is about 15 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter on the mirror. Okay, then we have this large tote. It's probably something that they would have used to gather strawberries and put the strawberry um, boxes in here, but it's so nice and wide and you have a lot of space in here. Use it as a centerpiece, um, you know, for layering a centerpiece and putting stuff in it. You could do greenery and bunnies and Easter eggs, nests, um, add pictures and put flowers in the pictures and then do some smaller things. So you've got lots of different options on how you could use this tote. Um, put it on your coffee table and put your magazines in it. Um, with your remotes, that would be another option. So $45 on this big tote. If we go from the outside of the handle to the outside of the handle, it's 21 inches. The top of the handle is 13 and a half. And then this other direction is 14 and a quarter. So $45 on the large tote. Okay, then I grabbed another piece of architectural salvage, this post. Um, probably newer, or if it's old, it never got used. Um, you could paint it and distress it if you want. I really like the color of this. I think this, like I've said before, is the trending um, color for wood, is just to have it be a raw, not stained, unfinished. You could cut this and um, make some candle holders out of it if you wanted. You could leave it like this. I've also seen trending a lot is taking these and putting them above a door or a window just like this. Um, and so that's an option too. And you could always put it this way and then take like that, the, the first mantle piece is sold, but take like that black piece and put on top of it and then you kind of have something decorative, um, giving it more character underneath it. And you could still leave them completely the two different colors. So on this post, it's $20. And you're looking at uh, 24, 24 and a quarter inches tall. All right, this Aztec pattern is... Uh, super popular right now. This I'm thinking is not necessarily a rug, which seems like I need to scoot back a little bit. Not necessarily a rug, but probably um, like a horse blanket, the blanket, the saddle blanket. It's in really good condition other than right here in the middle on what how I'm holding it, the top that has a couple of frayed spots but you could drape this over a couch i know there's a couple people who will use things like this to reupholster um, you could hang it on the wall drape it on a ladder and then that little um you know damaged area is not even going to matter um, and you could also tuck it into a crate and have it trailing outside of the crate as well so <clears throat> the saddle blanket, we'll see if I can measure it. It is about 29 inches by 38. 29 inches by 38, and it is $50. So $50 on the saddle blanket. Okay, then we have this crock. Um, bowl and it does have a couple of chips on it here but it has a lot of weight to it and it's stamped so it was a western um, crock bowl and great color since white is very much trending and I feel like crockery is is really becoming popular again as well so $20 on the western bowl all right, Chris wants the wood post. 
Then we have just a picture frame here that I have um, painted. It's got some purple, maybe it was pink, purple, pink, lime green, um, just something that definitely is gonna give a spring look. It's $15, it does have a sawtooth hanger here. You could um, put a picture inside it. And what I mean by that, outside is 12 and a half by 10 and a half. Um, what I mean by that is take and frame it out. So we'll see if this is a close. So this is not a bad, not a bad proportion right here. So you can take a frame and put something smaller inside it to just uh, make it an accent. So $15 on our spring frame. And then I've got three hinges and I picked them in different colors. So we've got white and that is old white paint. We've got green. Again, that is old green paint and we've got mainly just a rusty one. So you're getting the three for $15. And there's a lot of different things you can do with hinges. One of them is to put it backwards and you can magnet uh, a picture or a recipe or something um, to it. So that is an option. And then you can just use it to hang things too. So you could hang this into the wall and then um, put something below it. It's probably not good proportions here but hang something below it just like it's holding it and hanging it and you can put it on any old piece of wood or door um, for character for that as well so fifteen dollars on the three hinges all right chris wants the hinges robin your second on the hinges okay then we've got this crate it is nice and thick and heavy so probably something that's better for somebody that can pick it up locally. And actually, I will be in Des Moines um, next Thursday. And um, if you wanted to pick up in Des Moines, but you'd have to come to Gateway Market. And that would be, let me think when I'm going to be there. From 11 to 2, I will be at Gateway Market if you wanted to pick something up versus ship it. This is my favorite side. It is awesome. Just all of the old advertising and artwork that is on it. All of these pieces here are metal and I'm not really sure how they would have worked because there's holes in it. So something would have gotten screwed. Um, but it is just an amazing piece. This has some metal wiring here on the bottom and it does it is nice because it also has these handles and grippers all right kim wants the crate so kim's gonna meet me i'm guessing in des moines and good bonus lunch all right robin you're second on the crate okay guys that's everything that i have today i'll get you invoiced here um, this afternoon pretty shortly after we wrap this up and anything that's still available, I will put into stories if you want to go watch that. I think earlier this week, I linked again the video that shows you how you can find stories. So if you are still struggling on how to find stories, it is one of the videos that I have. Um, and I'm planning on doing a blog post so that you can have all of the little tips on how to utilize Facebook in one place and then you can just go there to learn more things so thanks guys have a good day